Hey, welcome to day 11 of the new Coach Basics training. Today we are going to cover the much exciting topic of Facebook. So there are so many ways to use Facebook um, and other social media outlets to grow your business. Um, and I think it's one of the most exciting and fun ways to meet new people. Um, you can really do your whole business online. Um, it's definitely important um, to have a network outside of your online business and connecting with people in person. Um, but you can do so much just with, um, you know, working your social media sites. Um, and Facebook um, is by far one of the most popular um, social media sites for coaches. So today we are going to cover just using your personal page. And as a new coach, I do recommend getting a like page, but it's also important to be using your personal page. So tomorrow we'll cover like pages. Um, today will just be how to use your personal page um, to help you as you first start out as a coach. And you know you can kind of transition that after um, you get your like page going um, and you have people from your personal page move over to your like page. Um, but it's really important that you start on your personal page first just because you have more of a Facebook affinity there and um, you'll learn a little bit more about that in a few minutes um, but that's where you're gonna get a larger audience when you're first starting out so um, today I'm gonna talk about how to build your network network on Facebook as is well as um, how to get your Facebook popularity or affinity up. So growing your network. Um, it's, I believe, we talked about a few days ago, the power of threes and how um, the first one is to friend three new people a day. So this is so important on Facebook that you are adding people to your network. So, you know, make that a goal, make that a priority of adding two to three people. You don't want to do more than that or Facebook will think that you are a spammer and um, will block you from adding friends. Um, so make sure that you're not doing that. But look at your friends list right now and count how or write down what that number is. Um, and you are going to grow that number. It's going to exponentially grow um, over the next few months um, and year as you add people to your network. So some ways to do that are to um, go in. Um, usually on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see, um, you know, I think it's people you may know. Um, that's a great way. Um, we've talked about that before. Another great way is to go into some of your close friends and then look at their friends list and go through and sort through people that you do know and add them to your friend network. It may just be that you never um, have you know, added them as a friend in the past or there's someone that you only know as an acquaintance. So those are people that you can add to your network. Another um, great way is to uh, write down 10 things uh, that you like, whether it's a sport that you like, a sports team, a neighborhood in your city, maybe your church. It could be um, uh, pets, the type of dog that you like, um, really anything. So think of 10. I want you to write those down. And then after uh, we get done with this, I want you to go and look for Facebook groups on those topics um, because these people already have that same interest in you as you um, and you can start conversations with them and get to know them and then um, eventually add them into your friends list um, so that's a great way um, to get to know people and just doing two to three per day is just fine um, you can probably start with just using your friends friends right away, um, but I do encourage you to get into some of those pages of common interest um, so you can add them to your network as well. Um, then we're going to cover getting your Facebook popularity up. So um, before you start a page, as we discussed before, your personal page, if you've been fairly active on it, has uh, an affinity or a popularity, and that is used by Facebook to determine 
how you are going to show up in the news feeds and how many people are going to see your posts. So Facebook also uses um, guidelines or will determine which posts are more popular and the more popular they are, the more news feeds uh, your posts will show up in. So recommendations. Um, I recommend looking at the time of day that you post. Um, morning, noon, and evening um, in my audience is usually the highest. Um, definitely that seven to nine o'clock is the most traffic on uh, Facebook. Um, and then usually seven to nine in the morning, um, closer to nine is going to be a little bit higher, has high traffic and then noon has higher traffic. Um, so make sure that you're posting during the, these key times um, during the day. So you'll also want to make sure that you always post, not always, but a majority of the time you post with a picture, um, a picture or a video. Um, these things get your post much higher in the news feed. Facebook likes having um, video. Um, usually video trumps all and pictures. So make sure that you are posting the picture of yourself. Maybe it's a food that you're eating. So always add a picture to your post. It's very, 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 very important. Um, and you can occasionally throw in, you know, just the text status updates as well. Um, but your picture posts are just going to be, um, first of all, higher in the Facebook feed. Second of all, it's just going to grab attention a little bit better. Um, and people are going to actually feel like they, if they're photos of you, they know you a little bit better. Um, and you'll get more comments and likes. So next, important with your posts is that you are engaging your audience. Think before you post. Think, is this something that is going to add value to someone's life? Is this something that is going to make them laugh? Is this something that is going to make them um, want to comment or want to share your post? So is this something that you would comment on or you would like if you saw it in someone's newsfeed? Um, and sometimes it can be really easy um, to worry about what you're going to post, and that's not what I'm saying. But really do make a conscious effort to um, put up good quality content. Um, good advice, good recipes, um, and engage your audience. So usually in your posts, you want to ask a question or um, invite your uh, followers or your friends to comment or to like. You know, like, did you get your workout in today? Click like if you did or if you're going to. Um, is uh, Which is your favorite? Post a picture of so, you know, if summer is coming, um, post a picture of three bikinis, um, one and putting one, two, and three on it and saying, which is your favorite? I'm getting into bikini, a bikini this summer. Um, I'm picking out my suit. Help me decide which one to get. Um, you know, so something that is going to engage them. And in that situation, you could also say, who's interested in joining me? Who wants to get in bikini shape? I've got my next challenge coming up. Um, so it's, it's really a great way to engage your audience. So really think about what you're posting. Um, I've done things where I had professional photos taken um, and I posted all of them and said, hey, I really need your help. I'm trying to figure out which one to get. Um, you know, so that really encourages people to post when you have those different selections or polls, when you're running polls. Um, it could be, uh, what else? There's so many different things that you can do. Um, uh, what is your favorite? Um, I did one. What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Uh, and then had a picture of tea that went next to it. So something that gets them um, to answer a question. Or maybe if it's your personal page, say tag a friend. You have a post that is about um, somebody about a powerful woman um, that you love and um, they motivate you and you could say tag your friend if this person um, if they're this person to you um, so engage your audience that's the key um, the other next thing to keep in mind is that 
you want to be posting quality content that isn't just business related. So it's not always going to be, hey, I've got a challenge group coming up, join me. Hey, here's me drinking my Shakeology, it's so great, join me. Um, you know, it's really important that um, you keep your business posts to about 20%. Um, and 80% should just be your personal life, um, you know, and your healthy life. And um, what I recommend doing is you're kind of wanting to develop your brand. So um, the next key piece is to write down five things about you that you want to share with others that you really like. Um, part of your personality, it could be. It could be uh, maybe you are a runner and you want to share your running lifestyle. It could be that you are a Christian and you want to um, share positivity and Bible verses. Um, you determine what those things are going to be because they're going to determine your brand and they're going to determine the types of people that are um, that are meeting you or that are attracted to you. Um, each day and as you continue to build your network and eventually build your like page um, those are key things that you want to kind of put in place now and you will add to those and that's perfectly fine but that way when you're posting you have kind of an idea of a topic um, it could be um, any of those five topics that you're going to post on and it really just helps as a guideline um, another uh, tip that we have um, is uh, posting pictures when you're working out. I highly recommend uh, motivating people that way. Um, and if you, you know, when you do this, it's so easy. What I, a little tip that I have is to um, set up your phone, record a video, and then come back and take a snapshot. Um, so you, People have asked me, do you have your husband take all of those photos? No, um, first of all, because I'd be, I'm too um, self, not self-conscious, but I'd get embarrassed and start laughing probably the whole time while he's taking pictures of me working out. Um, but that's just me. So that's a little tip. I set up my camera on my phone and I let it play and I do, you know, maybe a minute of a workout and then I come back and I screenshot it and then I use that on some of the apps um, that are recommended for photos. So that's a great way um, to get a lot of quality photos, um, you know, that people like to see. They like to see you. So you need to make sure that your face is showing. And that leads me into the next thing is your profile photo. Make sure that it's a photo of you. So um, show your face. Um, people want to know who you are, and that's going to really connect then into your like page once you do start that because you've got to have a photo of yourself on there too. So try to make it um, you know, a, a great photo of yourself. I'm sure you have tons of them, so just pick one out and put it up. Um, make sure that you don't have your dog in your profile picture or um, maybe even your baby, don't have your baby in the profile picture, it should be you. Um, so that when people see your posts, they know that it's you. Um, the cover photo is a great place to put all of the things that you love. Um, so that can be where you can kind of showcase your why, um, if it's your family, or if um, you, know, you wanna showcase all of the things uh, that you love, that's a great place to do that is on your cover photo. Um, and canva.com is my favorite place to do cover photos. Just got to do a little plug for that. So after this, I want you um, to kind of follow up on those items. And then I also want you to start looking at a few other like pages for inspiration. Um, some that I recommend are Shalene Johnson, Brandy Botts, Heather Johnson. Um, she's in our upline. Uh, She's the starter of Team Fire Starters. Uh, and then Janelle Summers. Um, and that's J E N E L L E Summers. She, they're great people to watch. Um, they've got great posts, and it just might inspire you. Um, another thing if you see something you like on someone's page, don't share. Um, I share occasionally, but I try to keep it to a minimum. Uh, because Facebook prefers when you post your own things. 
So um, post your photos. If you see something you like, if I post something that you like, feel free to steal it, make it your own. Um, you know, change up the words a little bit. You can steal a picture if it's, you know, if you want to, um, or create a picture that would go with it well. Um, but don't share that often because um, you are promoting that other person's page and your role is to try to get people um, to like your pages um, or like follow you. So um, be very um, conscious of how often you share other people's posts because you want people to be attracted um, to you and your business. And sometimes it may look like you are promoting um, somebody else. So I do that every so often, especially with my coaches, um, just because I like to um, promote them. And I think that um, sometimes I may have people that are following me that maybe would connect with one of my other coaches a little bit better. So those are the reasons why I do that, um, unless I see something really um, fun that I just have to share. So just be um, very thoughtful when you decide about sharing things. So. I hope that that gave you a lot of great information. Tomorrow we are going to be covering like pages, which is another exciting thing um, and a great way to be able to gauge what you are posting and how successful it is. You just get more reports um, and analytics on that. So I hope um, that you um, kind of get your power of threes going again and make sure that you're focusing on the social media part of it because this business can really be built on social media, especially Facebook. Um, make it a priority in your day. Um, have a notebook by you. And when you think of a good post idea, write it down because they will come. Um, you'll have days where you have so many great ideas and then other days where you just are not quite sure. You're not feeling <laughs> inspired that day. Um, so write them down. Um, make it a part of your day um, because people want to be a part of it. And that's a really um, what's important. You've got to be consistent. Um, you can't just drop off. Um, so even if it's just one a day when you're really busy, um, try to make that a priority. So I hope you guys have a great day and please shoot any questions my way. Um, I'm happy to answer those to my best of best ability. So I hope you have a great one.